Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little trick that um, I discovered the other day with uh, Emacs and Cider. And I don't think enough people are doing this because um, I work in a room full of closure developers that use the same tools and no one has ever mentioned it. And I think it's, um, it's a very interesting way to do some metaprogramming. Um, so I got in a situation like this. Um, I had this um, map that was predefined and um, I wanted to make sure that a part of a different map, in this case M, um, had the same values. So in this case I had to uh, do a select keys and um, in order to do that I would have to type out all the keys from the map underneath. So street number, postcode, etc. etc. Uh, so the problem with that is that um, I would do it with copy paste, but that's not very convenient. Um, so I discovered that you can, instead you can do that. You can say highlight this, copy, then go to search on the argument of select keys and type into vector keys then paste them up so I'm going to format this so you can see clearly more clearly what's happening so as a second argument I have this which is obviously wasteful you wouldn't have want to have that in your code as is but you can go at the end of the regular of the S expression and press Control C, Control W, and if you have a REPL running, Emacs Insider replace the uh, S expression with the evaluated version of it. Um, so if you get it wrong, you can always undo. Go here. I don't know, change something, and then go at the end. Press Control C, Control W, and get this, which is wrong. You, you need a vector for select keys. Um, okay, so I'll just show you another example of uh, the same sort of trick. Uh, say you're in a different situation. You have this uh, map here and uh, your code changes and suddenly instead of um, a map uh, you need a um, collection, collection of small maps that only have one key each containing the same sort of thing so you can go here type back and then map and apply hash map to to each um, key and value uh, pair. So what you get is this. So yeah, that's it. I think it's a nice little trick, and um, it could speed up your um, programming quite a bit.